Hello Internet, my name is Quentin and this is Blondie Hacks. So today we're working on restoring an antique mortise lock set. This thing's about 100 years old and it's a really cool piece of engineering. I think you're going to like this. Okay, let's dive in. So step one is to get the lock set out of the door. Uh, mortise locks are all one piece and they install by sliding into a very large mortise that's cut in the door, hence the name. And in order to do this, the door itself has to be a, a thick, beefy piece of solid hardwood. And the mortise is very large and complex and difficult to cut. So uh, that's, that's all part of why they don't do it this way anymore. Uh, but uh, these things are very cool. Now this one is fighting us uh, to be removed and we will see why shortly, but uh, eventually we do manage to get it out. There we go. Now back on the bench here, these are all the parts that uh, I salvaged from it. So this is the uh, handle, which is uh, all, all the parts here are hand forged wrought iron, which is really cool. And there's the uh, deadbolt handle there. And you can see that guy's actually broken off, so that's something we're gonna have to address. And here's the relatively modern lock cylinder, which was installed in the deadbolt. You can still get those, so we'll keep that and possibly rekey it. And here's the lock set itself. So it's cosmetically in decent shape other than 7,000 layers of paint on the uh, leading edge there, but uh, not too shabby. Okay, now let's get inside this thing and see what we're dealing with. And there we are. This is, these are very cool mechanisms, as you can see. Lots of moving parts. Everything is cast brass or bronze. And uh, there's a lot of really cool features, which we're going to look at here. And we have a little spider nest there. And you never know what you're going to find inside old devices like this. And one of those old embossing label maker labels. I wonder who Lupe was or how that got in there. So let's take a look at some of the features here. This is the main latch, and uh, this thing is really sticky, so we're definitely going to have to address this. It's functional, but doesn't move very well at all. And uh, here's the exterior latch, which goes through the door and then pushes on that button there. And this is also really sticky and doesn't move the latch far enough for the door to clear, as you can see. And then those buttons allow you to kind of soft lock the door by preventing the exterior latch from functioning, which is a nice feature. And then here's the deadbolt up top, and uh, we can slide this in and just see if that mechanism is working. And while it does work, it's extremely stiff, which is probably why that handle is broken off, because again, it's hand-forged wrought iron and uh, pretty thin, so somebody probably tried to force this and twisted it off, so that mechanism uh, will need addressing as well. And here's a really nice feature that you don't often see in residential locks. So when the deadbolt is opened all the way by the key, there's a little bar down here that pulls the latch back. So you can unlock and open the door and the deadbolt all in one motion, which is really nice. Going back to the outside of the case now, somebody has repaired this in the past. Uh, one of the screws goes through the entire enclosure and serves as an axle for one of the springs inside. And somebody has made this one out of uh, like an old wood screw or old machine screw or something. They've ground the head flat trying to get it flush with the case. But as you can see, they, they didn't, write, qu didn't quite get there. And this is why the lock was so hard to remove from the door. This was dragging uh, quite a bit. So uh, we're going we're gonna to make this part uh, and uh, do, a, do a bit of a better job, I think. And here's another interesting part. That shaft right in the middle of the screen threads into the door handle. And the door handle on the inside was very loose and sloppy. And you can see why now. That shaft is so chewed up uh, that you can hardly even tell what shape it's supposed to be. So uh, I think we're going we're gonna to end up making that part as well. And here we get our first look at the maker's mark, which is on the end of the deadbolt. This was made by National Lock Company uh, in Ozone Park, New York. And uh, this company was uh, founded in 1903 and uh, is currently owned by a 
complex security. So they, uh, they do still exist in some form. All right, well, that's it for this video. Uh, we will get into uh, repairs in the next one in this series. So uh, thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.